Today on The Bullying Point, we're going to be talking to Steven Taylor, and we're going to be talking about some safety, some probes, and that is something that's so very important uh, to your boiler. Now, before we get started, like and share all of our videos, and one other thing, May 1st through the 3rd, 2024, make sure you're there at Boiler 2024, today on The Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point, I'm Richie Ware and this is Steven Taylor. Now, low water cutoff is something that is obviously very important, but today mm -hmm. we're gonna focus on the second. Second. All right, so yep. what do you got? Well, <clears throat> that's the first low water is the McDonald Miller float type that's common in, in all over the industry. Right. Second low water, sometimes it's a float on the other side of the boiler, sometimes it's a probe, and we just recently ran into a situation where the probe was in a horizontal position. Okay. And while that operates fine, it actually gives you more surface area for the probe to connect with the water. The downside, and especially in this case, is that if, if the customer scales the boiler up, because that coupling is set horizontal and it's got a probe coming out of it, that scale will build up below that probe and ground the probe out. So therefore that neutralizes your second low water cutoff. Yeah. And this particular customer, they scaled the boiler up, the primary failed, the secondary, was grounded out and the boiler went out on, went low on water and continued to fire and did a lot of damage to the boiler. So maybe just go into a little bit more description on when you're talking about the probe is horizontal, where that's actually at on the boiler here. It's, it would be no different than, than this one uh -huh. and it's gonna be about the same height as that, that uh, surface blowdown. Okay. And so what they did, it, it looked just like that and they ran the probe in there and it sets you know, at, at the proper level, below, mm -hmm. the, below the water level, but mm -hmm. at, at a spot still above the tubes right. to keep from doing damage to the boiler. And so, you know, you, you, can, have it, the, the, you can have it 45, right. or you can have it right in the center of the boiler, which is where most of them are at. Right. 45 is fine, top of the boiler is perfect. Horizontal, we just discovered, it doesn't work out so well. If the customer had taken care of the boiler, yeah. first low water never failed, yeah. they would it would have never been an issue. Nobody would have ever known anything about it. Right. But the perfect scenario had to come about in order for us to find out that, hey, operationally, looks good. Yeah. It, it, in theory, it sounds good. Operationally, it's not what you want to do. What's actually on that, on the probe itself? Where is it actually going bad? Because isn't it, it's not at the No, you know, the it's right levels. where the probe comes through the coupling. Yeah. And it's laying there in that coupling. That coupling is, is sticking inside the boiler itself. Right. And that's in the water. So when there's scale in the water, that settles right in that coupling, builds up grounds the probe out. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> it, so what I would recommend, if you're approving some middles for a new boiler, mm -hmm. or even if you're renting the boiler from somebody, ask them about the low water cutoff. Right. The second low water. Is that a probe? Yes. What's the position of that probe? Yeah. If it's horizontal, make them change it. Yep. Yep. Good information. All right. Our safety always first. Obviously. Always first. Right. Always. Well, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.